Hi, this video shows the new features of AutoCAD Plan 3D 2021. First, let's have a quick look at the new features. We go to what's new and then we see there are improvements for line insulations in author drawings. There's also an alternative to use a symbol for that. Insulations are also shown in a different way, in a transparent way in 3D itself and you can turn on the ability to create PCF files for each sheet of paper in case your isometric drawing is split into multiple pa pa uh, pages. Third, there is the replacement of uh, BIM 360 Teams with BIM 360 Design. This will be in a separate video with all the details for that. So first let's have a look at insulation in 3D. So I select my line, I define insulation thickness and maybe also type. And then as always we turn on the visibility and now we can see the insulation is shown transparent so we can see what's inside. Then we go to authors and let's create a new author drawing from our drawing. Like we get the box and the first thing if you want to use insulations you probably want to hide lines uh, and then there is an option for the insulation itself and for now I leave it at no insulation just so you see the various options and we get the line without the insulation. Now let's edit the view and use the second option which is showing the insulation itself without the pipes within the insulation. And third we can have the pipes also so then we use hidden line insulation. The text in my opinion is a little bit misleading or confusing but you get the idea you now have the pipes and the insulation in one view. For the next uh, insulation symbol I turn off the insulation again and instead we will use a symbol for that. There is the insulation tool and you define where you want that. Okay and after that you refresh or uh, update your view so the pipe within the symbol will not be shown then it looks like this. Unfortunately it's not possible to use other or additional properties in the symbol. That seems to be somehow hard-coded or fixed. Um, then we get to the isometrics. So before you can use that feature you have to adapt your isometric configuration. So I use the style final A3 and if you create a new project with 2021 this new switch is already there and by default it's set to false. Uh, I set it to true so I get a PCF file per drawing. Okay if you have an existing isometric style from previous uh, Plan 3D versions, you can use that of course as well and then if you want to use that feature you simply copy that into your existing configuration file. So let's have a look at the isometric drawing. Final A3, that's all good. Okay, we should have three drawings, yes. So we have yeah, page 1, 2 and 3. All good. And if you look at the folder, so we are in our style, production ISOs, drawings, and now we see the PCF files for each sheet of paper. They will not be used for making isometric drawings reproducible. So every time I create the ISO, they will just be overwritten. If you want to make a drawing reproducible or the how they are split up, then you still use the breakpoint. So if we make a change in our 3D drawing, 
even a small one, like for example deleting those flanges here, and closing it again, then we will see that we get only one ISO. Uh, the second ISO we see here is actually an overflow of the cut, cut piece list. So we see just by deleting that flange or the, these two flanges we get now everything on one page so it's not really um, used for uh, making a drawing or the splitting of a drawing reproducible but if you have a PCF file for each page of a piece of paper then you have well only the data which is shown on the uh, on the drawing so if you in case you want to use the PCF files for other things you know that it corresponds with the drawing itself okay that's about these two features and as I mentioned before the collaboration with BIM 360 design will be shown in a separate video.